Hello, my name's Mike M0 MSN. Thanks for joining me. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and perhaps subscribe. It all helps. In this video, I'm going to build a simple diapo for 20 meters. Uh, it's a, a real time uh, video. The length of the video is the length of time it took me to actually build it. And we will then have a part two where I will show you how to SWR the diapo uh, and the effect that um, having the ends of the diapo either up or down, you know, at an angle as an inverted V or as a flat diapo, uh, the effect that that has on the SWR and its far field plot. Anyway, all of that in the next one. This one's all about the build. So to start, what do we need to make a diapo for 20 meters? Well, we all know that a diapo is made up of two legs, okay? One is connected to the uh, to the center of the coax. So let's draw some coax. I'm not very good at drawing, so forgive me. Okay. This is the braid, the outer braid, and the center of the coax. And we all know that uh, one side of the diapo is connected to the center of coax, and the other side is connected to the braid. Okay, but how do we know how long each leg is for a given frequency? Well, there's a magic uh, figure out there. And that magic figure, let's write it here. Goodness, look at the state of this. Let's get it so I can, so there's no shadows, okay. So the magic figure is 300. Now, this is the uh, approximation, or as close to the speed of light, which is the same speed as radio waves. So what we do is we, we always use 300. It's a metric um, figure. If we want it in feet and inches, I believe it's um, 468 uh, is the magic figure. But let's stick to metric because it's one I know um, and one we play with. So let's say we're making a diapo for the uh, for the 14... Um, 14 megahertz or the 20 meter band, um, 20 meter band. Okay, let's do that for that. Uh, and the center of the 20 meter band is roughly 14, 14, what is it? It is, it's 14.150 uh, megahertz. So we are dividing 300 by 14.15 megahertz which is 21.2 something like that now we're in meters 21.2 meters is the uh, is the wavelength for that frequency um now we need to divide that by four um to get a quarter wave um ba -ba 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 -bum. 5.3 is close, 5.3 meters. So now we now know um, that each leg, because each leg is a quarter wave, is 5.3 meters in the ideal world. But we do have something called velocity factor that we have to take into account here. Um, and the normal velocity factor for an aerial is roughly um, 93 to 95 percent. Um, so let's let's do it at 95 uh, percent because we can always cut a bit shorter. So we would times this 5.3 meters by 0.95, and that would get our quarter wave. Um, and uh, what would that give us? Um, oh, yeah, simply. Uh, 5.03 meters per side. So we can round that down to five meters. Um, so each leg needs to be five meters in length. Okay. If we use a velocity factor of 0.93, um, that would be 4.98, something like that. So each leg would be but five meters is a good starting point. 
So let's cut two lengths of cable at five meters. Boom, five meters. I'm going to get two bits of cable, excuse me, why don't I just find some, I've got some spare DX10, um, which I think would be about long enough, I'll just measure it, I've got a one, two, I think I need to uh, just reduce these a little bit. It's the problem when you're using leftover bits of cable, isn't it? It's, uh, it's always got stuff left over from last time you used it. Right, okay. So let's do that again. Hopefully it's as long enough as I said. One, two, three, four, five. Crikey, just literally within millimetres. Um, so I'm hoping that it'll actually be good enough. Anyway, here we go. Five. So there's our first piece. And we need another bit the same length. Fingers crossed on this as well. One, two, three. meter length of wire, in this case DX10. That's all we need now, the length of coax. Now I've got an off cut of coax, but uh, which has got an SO239 on the end from a previous project. But if you haven't got um, one like this, just a simple length of coax will do. And you can put a connector on it at the end of it. Um, but for me, this was uh, it was handy, so I thought I'd use it. So, literally bear the ends back. And it doesn't get any simpler. It really doesn't. 
like so. Spread the, uh, the shield so you can poke the inner core out of a gap at the bottom. So if I can do this relatively neat and very, relatively quickly. Okay. What we do then is uh, open up the the inner shield a little bit. There you go. Get the soldering iron on. Is it on? It will be. Okay, let's move you over to the soldering iron den. I'm trying to do this in real time, so. Excuse the noise. Yeah, someone's had a beer already. Can't be mad. So Ryan's hot. There's one of our five meter lengths. There's the other five metre length. Again with our Stanley knife, we just need to cut a, a bit of shield, a bit of uh, PVC coating off of each end. Okay. Here's a trick, okay? When soldering wire together, make a fold over the first one, okay? And then do the same over the other end. That is the correct way of joining two straight bits of cable, okay? Now, I'll put a soda joint on that and then I'll connect the other one. Are you hot yet? Let's find out. Yes. Okay. Very cool. Lovely. Let's do the same here. And we'll uh, solder those together. Sorry for my accent, I know I can't say the word. Just tidy that one up. Tip not. Anyway, there we go. Let's let them dry off, cool off. Two bits of heat sink. We'll uh, make them red and blue. We do red for the hot side. Although there's no real such thing, but uh, we'll call it that. Bear with me. 
with me. The only thing we need to do now really is uh, make some form of strain relief so that the uh, the coax doesn't get pulled apart too much um, and bear with me and I'll make one of those. So that, believe it or not, is the diapo finished apart from um, stringing it up and SWRing it. So there you are, a uh, simple build. Um, I'll get a uh, strain relief to put between the, the shield and the uh, centre core uh, to stop the, um, the, the coax from being uh, damaged uh, when we string it up. Um, right, but uh, that's it uh, for this video. The next one will contain the, uh, the SWRing and uh, the effects of uh, positioning of the legs. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching. Cheers for now.